in this video we will learn about text interpolation in angular i have created this new application inside this uh, src folder expand this app folder here let's open this app.component.html file let's remove everything from here save the changes the application is running on the browser so we don't have anything here now i want to make some changes in the html file those changes will be displayed in the browser let's write some code here welcome save the changes so it is visible in the browser now i'm writing 1 plus 1 equal save the changes whatever text i am writing here that is written as it is on the browser i want to calculate some of these numbers for that i have to use interpolation interpolation is basically the combination of double curly braces this part is required for interpolation uh, whatever we write inside this interpolation that will be calculated save the changes you can see here we have 1 plus 1 equal 2 this uh, 1 plus 1 equal is coming from this html and this 2 is coming from interpolation along with this adding and subtraction there are lots of other things that we can do with this interpolation now let's add one more number save the changes you can see here in the browser we have updated value this is a simple one we knew that uh, in one single component folder there are four files two files are very important they are component and html file generally we write all the logics and calculations in the component file uh, let's say i am writing calculations or logics in component file then i want to display those values in the html file let's see how we can do that let's open this app.component file here remove this title here we have empty class and we have at the rate component decorator we have discussed um, about selector and template url and styles urls in our previous video if you want to learn about this you can watch the video inside this class let's create new variable name type string and assign some value that's it save the changes now i want to display this name in html file so copy this name let's open this app.component.html file here paste the name which we copied from component file see in the browser we have exact text now let's use interpolation save the changes you can see here in the browser we have the name value now let's change the name value here let's say sample one two three save the changes the changes are reflected in the browser here um, you have to note one important thing if you declare this variable as private here we are getting error um, this name is not accessible in the html file because we have declared this variable as private we can access this variable only inside this component we cannot access this variable out of this component remember we can access public variable only in html file now let's create a simple method put a colon then we have to provide the return type of this method if you are returning string you can write the string here if you don't want to return anything from this method then you can use void here i am returning string value so i am using string here we have to return some value from this method let's say allow from method save the changes if you are not defining anything here like a public or private by default it will be public 
Let's see how we can use this method in HTML file by using interpolation. Now use one more p tag or you can use it in any tag. Paste the method name then use parenthesis because we are using method. Then save the changes. In the browser, see here, we have the message from method. This is how interpolation will work with property and method. We can do few things in this method. So let's add one parameter. Type number. If the parameter value is one means. Use body statement. We will return this message. Else. We will return. Let's say. Hello. From sorry. Data. That's it. Save the changes. In the HTML file, we have to pass one parameter. Um, if I pass one in this parameter, save the changes. See you. We are getting a message from the first condition. Now let's change the number value. Let's say 100. See you. We have the second message. Okay. Now we can use a list also. Uh, for that, declare a variable here employees and use array. Let's add few names here. Now we have three names in this employees array. Uh, I want to display this data in HTML file. So copy this variable name. So copy the variable name only. Save the changes. We have all the names here. Here we can pass index value. Let's say index value 0. We have first name. If I change the index value 1. Here we got second name. If I change the index value lost. We got the lost name. Okay. Now let's create one object here. Object name employee. Your use title. Let's say software engineer. And name Sharon and salary. Let's say forty thousand. Save the changes. Now copy this name. Go back to HTML file. Use the interpolation. Paste the variable name. See here in the browser we have object object. Now I want to access all the properties one by one. For that we have to write employee dot name of the property let's say title save the changes we have the title in the browser now i want to display name and salary for that copy this and paste it then salary save the changes See all the properties are displayed here in single line. Now let's use list. Let's say title. Let's 
name and then salary save the changes we have this design you can create the design as per your need this title um, is the odd coded value and this is the dynamic value this is how we can use interpolation in multiple ways let's learn a few more points of this interpolation we are having this name property in app component file now i'm writing like some text save the changes this time we are having error interpolation will not work like this this interpolation is used just to display the values we cannot assign anything here we cannot use bitwise operators also also we cannot create new instances like a new keyword or type of something like that we can use the interpolation only to display the values and it will work on some basic calculations now let's create a image tag here we have to provide src and alt i want to get this value uh, from app component file here we can create a new property or we can have the data from this uh, employee object then alt it is basically profile picture profile pic for this image src let's open one more tab here search for and splash here click this one open copy image address so paste it here save the changes now in the html file we can use interpolation your employee dot src save the changes see you in the browser uh, we have the image now fix the width put a double quote okay save the changes here we have the image now let's use alt also employee dot alt okay save the changes here right click and choose inspect so in the image tag you can notice we have alt that is profile picture okay this is how we can work with interpolation in angular application thanks for watching this video